Hello everybody and welcome. <clears throat> Hello and welcome. We are back with more Dark Souls 3. And if you recall, we are in the, sw the swamps of Farron. We're not quite done out here. There's a few things to do still. And a few things to do that we're not actually going to do. So you'll see that there's a there's a good bit of dudes in this room. Good bit of slugs. We're just gonna kind of systematically remove them. I missed. All right. The reason we wanted to get in here is this undead bone shard. Mm. 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 Undead bone shards are good to have. There's just like nasty sounds. Then over here. See there's an item. Good old tight night shard. No poison, but that's alright. If you recall from the last episode, that's just like part of being out here. Alright, so we're gonna go up this ladder, but first... First, we're gonna come up here. Because there's a sunlight talisman. And an Estes Soup. And then right over here. Hmm, a wolf's blood sword grass. Yes, yes, yes. Yes indeed. Now up the ladder we go. Up the ladder we go. And you saw the doorway. That is where we want to go. But not before we do a little loop de loop and pull. Look at that cute little guy just walking around. Hmm. Gotcha. Some twinkling tight nights. And then right here, we got another entrance with the Dream Chaser's ashes. And right here, boom, the old wolf himself to join the watchdogs of Farron. Amazingly, we didn't get invaded by any watchdogs of Farron, but yeah. All right, I'm going to rest at the bonfire real quick. Now we're going to go up this lift. It's a small detour on our way to the boss. Shit. I forgot to start my clock. But it's a small detour on the way to the boss. So. A little mini boss. You see him over there. Uh, for those of you guys who tuned into the first Dark Souls playthrough or have played it yourself... Um, I recommend tuning in. Audio is a bit rough at the first half, but you know. Here we have a straight demon. He hurts. He definitely hurts. That's it. We're probably dead. That would be a death. So he definitely does do a lot of damage. Um, but if you play less sloppy than I was, he's really not that big of a deal. He's kind of like fighting the, stra the, uh, the stray demon in Dark Souls 1, where... 
he looks like the tutorial boss, kind of behaves like the tutorial boss, but at the end of the day, he's just the tutorial boss that does a lot more damage and it hits a lot harder, you know. His moveset's a little different, as you saw. He's not doing any bullshit magic booms. But he does have more health, I believe, than, like, the fucking Asylum Demon. And he has more damage output by a pretty considerable amount. So, we'll go ahead and Ember back up. Because if I'm gonna sit here and be getting hit by this dude... That's a new move. He's really just not giving me any breaks, is he? One thing that's interesting about this one is you can actually break one of his legs off. You can actually break his legs off. Um, obviously, obviously that didn't work out for us here, but you can definitely break his legs off. <clears throat> so that does it for that guy. There's a little bit of stuff over here in the other direction, so we'll go ahead and check that out. Check that out. All right. <clears throat> a little bit of a narrow run here, but that's okay. Don't really want to spook the others, you know. Want to get these guys kind of one at a time. Get some lightning spear action. The dragon crest shield. So he woke everybody up, that's a, a little inconvenient. guys ain't shit on their own. God damn it, if they don't just like add up. If there's any game where the philosophy of power and numbers applies to your enemies, Dark Souls would be it. Like, I don't care how strong you are, a whole mob of like little piddly weak enemies will potentially overpower you, you know? It, it's just kind of how it is. <coughs> also, uh, I don't really like how the crest shields got changed up a bit here in Dark Souls 3. So in Dark Souls 1, you had the dragon crest shield, the grass crest shield, and the... Uh, regular crest shield right and I believe that was it and the dragon crest shield was good against fire and physical 
The grass crest shield recovered your stamina, but it wasn't particularly good at anything. Um, and then, uh, the, dra the, mag the regular quest shield was good against magic, but dark damage wasn't a thing, right? So here, the regular crest shield is good against dark but bad against magic, and I don't get that. Why not just add in another crest shield for the dark damage? You know? Doesn't make sense to me. No, I ain't telling you shit. <laughs> Japery. Alright, um... I don't think that really added anything that we necessarily need. So that's alright. Hey, you know, I come over here. I gotta say, I gotta say hi to Andre. Just good, just what needs. Alright. We don't have any flask shards. Let's see if we can get a level up in. Ooh, we can. Ahead and put a point into Vigor. Farewell, <clears throat> Just a, that little bit more health, a little bit more HP. So back we go. Back we go. <clears throat> Fun fact: If you uh, defeat Hazel in the swamp. Over, or somewhere in this vicinity, you'll be able to summon her as a white phantom, and uh, you get a gesture from that that you can only obtain from her. So if you're looking for the uh, achievement for all the gestures, you want to take your time and do that. We're not too too worried about that right now. So. So we carry on. <coughs> we want to take our time here couple of dark wraith boys now these guys being here makes this spot a really interesting spot to farm because look at that they they fight the grew sometimes the grew win Sometimes the Dark Wraiths win. Usually the Dark Wraiths win. But sometimes the Gru win. Because, like, the Dark Wraiths are more or less immune to poison. And, like, a lot of times the Gru will focus on trying to get, do their little... <sighs> poison mist. And, uh... That doesn't do them any favors. Against those Dark Wraiths. Sure, why not? Let's see if we can summon a friend. This is an actual human player, so welcome to uh, YouTube, Icarus, my boy. All right. So let's go see who won between the Dark Wraiths and the group. Dark Wraiths are coming back this way for whatever reason. Alright. 
Okay, that's exciting. Sorry, Igris. I didn't mean to like get you dead that way. All right. Well, he definitely made that easier. All right, since we decided to go and get poisoned and stuff, let's fix that. Summon got hard. You hear it? Action happening. Off in the distance. Come on, guy hard. You got this, bud. You can hear the fighting, but you can very clearly see there's nothing happening. Till you walk in anyway. fight time. So as cool as that other uh that other guy will actively fight this one. Like they're not, they're friends, but they're not, you know? Phase one down. This is a two phaser. It's a cool boss. I may be trivializing it and playing it down a little bit here, but this is a cool boss. Now he's embered. <clears throat> the blood of all of his fallen homies. Got hurt. Got hurt. What are you, what are you doing, got hurt? to take some of this aggro off of me. And it's not fucking working.
That was stupid on my part. Got a backstab. We got a backstab. Oh shit, oh shit, no! No! And then got hard gets the last hit. Something, something tells me that that's not going to count. That's not going to fly. Ay, 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 ay. Well, you know. Sometimes it do be that way. We're going to try one more again. Alright, so we're going to wait for them to aggro each other and start fighting. Then we're going to run over there, grab Gotthard, and get into the boss room. The Gru did not last very long at all. Now we're just gonna grab Gothard and go, I guess. Alright, Gothard. Let's do this, bud. I don't like the way that poise doesn't really work. Phase one done. P O O D. Phase one officially done. We're in better shape than we were. All right, we've seen this already. The music's blaring. Remember, this Y hander fully charged up floors, motherfuckers. 
But now this guy's got explosions. Not only does it floor people, it just hits really freaking hard. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. That went much, much better. I don't know what the hell was wrong with me in the last attempt, but that was much, much better. All right, we beat the Abyss Watchers. Hell yeah. And there it is. That's gonna be our episode. We beat the we beat the Abyss Watchers. Uh, so, yeah. Feel free to tune in next time. Uh, this episode ended up a little bit long, I think, actually, because I fucked up and did not beat the Abyss Watchers the first time. But, you know, that's all good. I'll see you all in the next episode where we figure out where we're going from here, because as you can see, it appears to be a dead end. So, the other path was also a dead end. Hmm. I know what to do, though. I've, I've done this before. So, I'll see you all in the next video. Farewell.